Hi, it's Miriam, and in this video, I'm going to show you uh, four exercises for you to better your hip movements. Okay, to strengthen because this area of the core is such a like um, tiny collection of tiny muscles here around. So you have to do like specific things besides practicing, you know, the steps and everything. But I have found that in my own classes and my own like progress teaching like all during those years that it has helped me a lot to do these particular exercises for the specific muscles that are connecting your hips to your rib cage, right? Like all around the core. Um, and you may or may not know, but I teach, you know, hula, Tahitian and belly dance and all the three of them revolve around the hips. All you do is like footwork, thigh work, you know, all around the core. So all is for hip movements, but our hips are attached, you know, to the spine. And then we have our rib cage and the hips are attached to the leg, like all of that. So we got to make sure that we learn how to work this. So I'm sharing four exercises with you. Um, the first one, you want to put your leg out and keep it straight. Keep your back very, very straight. This other leg in the back is not going to be bent, but it's going to be soft. It's not going to be stiff either. It's just going to be soft. And you're going to be lifting this. I recommend if you're having problems with balance, just go ahead and grab a wall. You know, hold yourself in the wall. But eventually you want to try to like not rely on the wall because that way you will use your whole core power to lift the leg, right? And you can also extend your arms out so basically you're lifting your hip without lifting the leg without flexing the leg you're just keeping straight and you're lifting and dropping lifting and dropping lifting and dropping so basically what it's doing here it's like working you want to work on the side here of your see like we're not moving we're not um like moving this leg is literally just the hip lifting the weight of your leg so you want to keep this back as straight as possible while it pinches up and down right and you can hold your hands here but ideally i want you to keep your arms up so that you are not relying or keeping your back very very straight so that you make this side work i mean the particular muscles that i want you to work like to work them you know just specifically so do not bend the leg let's shift to the other side and same thing if you want to put your arms out or in the head to keep your back very straight keep the leg very very you know straight this leg that is lifted make sure that your shoulders are not moving okay now, if you can do this slower, do that. Because that's what's really gonna build up the core and the strength in you, right? Like, don't, don't like, lift it and drop it like lazy. Try to really have control of the muscle, holding and releasing. You can even do this like inhaling and exhaling. Like inhaling slow, holding it up, exhaling, releasing. Inhaling slow, lifting it up, exhaling. No. So that's exercise one. The other exercise that I want to show you is with your arms up so that your back is very straight and bend your knees slightly. And you're going to keep this upper body like from your belly up straight. So don't fold up here. Only the bottom part. And you're going to lift your tailbone as high as you can. So flex your knees. They don't need to be super flexed. Just flex them enough to do that. And then tuck in. Tuck in and hold. You can hold for five seconds, ten seconds, whatever. And then lift up as high as you can. And tuck in again. So let me come in a little bit closer. So I want you to really see the spine, right? Then you're gonna lift, 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 lift that tailbone 
and then tuck it in so it's all hip. You're going to feel the opening here in your low back. You're going to feel that in the lower part of your vertebra. Lift, lift the tailbone. Tuck it in, tuck it in, hold it in. Lift it all the way up. Tuck it in. Okay, from the front, lift in, tuck in. So the secret on this two exercises is going slow and trying to go to the end of what your body can do, right? Like not just doing it a little bit here. I mean, if that's where your muscles are, that's okay. But you want to be aware of your body and feeling it so that you're really lifting and holding and then relaxing. And same thing for this one, right? Like you wanna tuck in as much without folding the top. It's only bottom part. You wanna learn to isolate and then lift it. Because what you're doing here is opening your vertebra from about the belly to the sacrum area. So that everything where you are doing circular motions or figure eight motions, uh, even side motions, that your spine becomes more flexible. That way you can have a bigger movement. With this one, what you're doing is helping your hips and low back to be able to lift. So anything when you're swaying to the sides or doing bumps, anything of that sort, any movements like this, you're going to help that it goes up with a lot more strength, right? Because you are then not relying only on your thighs, but you're also adding this last pinch, all right? So the third one that you wanna do, third exercise I'm gonna show with you is big circles. But these are different than hip rotations like this, okay? They're different. This ones, you wanna keep your legs straight. They're not stiff, they're not locked. They're slightly bent, but you're mostly pushing around. You're just getting it around, getting it around, getting it around. And then you're going to be shifting direction. So you want to make it as wide to all the sides as possible to work evenly on front and back and sides of the core. Right? Like you want to make sure that you're working all around the core and not only strengthening one side or the other or the front and back. So it's very helpful that you do those circles. You can also keep your hands out here, but you want to keep them on the sides straight because you want to teach your body, your upper body, to keep it really, really straight, okay? To just keep it very, very straight. So those are, that's number three. The fourth one that I want to um, share with you is making the figure eights here, but with your legs open, okay? Whether it's an O'Neill, a Varo, or a figure eight, because what you're doing is with your legs open, I know we might not dance like that for a long time, but you're releasing the hips. You're literally releasing the hips from that and so that you're able to twist versus having your legs straight like this so that when you actually do this step, your legs and muscles are prepared. So you're basically freeing the hips here so that they have more space to do this movement. Okay? Now, same thing. I know I started doing it fast, but you want to try to do it as slow as possible and trying to not move the upper body so like you don't want to be rotating your rib cage with you okay you want to make sure that you allow your hips to rotate to rotate by themselves Right? Like try to let them do that. It's important that you do a full twist and that you push out as much back as you can 
and then push forward as much as you can. That's why it's so important that you do these exercises slow because your body, your body will really learn control and that's how you uh, dance with sharpness. That's why you dance with a lot of grace and control from those exercises that are really, really slow because the muscle has to hold their heart and make sure that you're breathing when you're doing these exercises, right? So your muscles need to breathe. Um, as you're breathing in, your muscles will be breathing and your muscles need to um, work together in this smaller part, smaller conjunction of or groups of muscles to make that move in that particular movement, okay? So let's go ahead uh, now and practice this. We're just going to do them together now that I've explained them. So let's start here. We're going to do a count of eight and shift. Five, six, seven, I don't know if I should lift this up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shift side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try with the hands up. Shift. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do this one tucking in flex and one, release. Two, make sure to lift your tailbone as much as you can. Three, and tuck it in as much as you can. Lift. Four, and lift. Five, and lift. You should be tired. If you're not tired, you're not pushing enough. Six, seven, eight. Release. Out. One, push back. Two, push back. Three, push back. Four, push back, five, push back, six, push back, seven, push back, eight, arms up, push forward, one, release, two, release, three, release, four, Five, make sure you're lifting and pulling forward, or pushing forward. <laughs> Lift, six, and lost the count. Seven, tuck in and lift, eight, and release. Okay, arms out for the circles. Be straight back, keep your legs almost straight, and out, one, around. Try to reach the full circle, two, three, don't bend forward, Four, five, this is just forcing very specific muscles to do work. So that's why we're doing a very specific movement. And I think we have the more. Seven, eight, shift side. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Extend the arms out. One, two. Keep your knees soft, but they're not bent. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight, shift side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and arms up. Shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shift side. One, two. Make sure your back is very straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're going to do the figure eight. So, I guess I'll be four. Flex, no, actually, arms up. Flex a little bit to twist and one, two. Push and lift as much as you can. Three, keep your back very straight. Four, make sure you're breathing deeply. Five, six, seven, eight, and arms up. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, arms up, and one, two, three, keep breathing, four, Five, six, seven, eight, good, release, breathe in, breathe out again, and next up, I'm going to put a time mark and time stamp there so that if you're coming back to practice, you just come directly to the practice, not for the beginning. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you do consistently this, you're going to see how much your movements are going to improve really, really quickly. If you're really doing it slow and doing the breathing, just how I told you, and consistent practice, you're going to improve really, really fast, okay? Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.